Unlocking the mystery of homophones and homonyms. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to delve into the fascinating world of English language, focusing specifically on homophones and homonyms. We'll be revisiting these tricky elements and reinforcing your knowledge with some fun activities. Before we get into the review activities, let's recap what we've learned so far. Homophones are words that sound alike but have different meanings and may or may not be spelled differently, such as two, two, and two. On the other hand, homonyms can be a bit more complicated. They are words that sound alike and are spelled alike but have different meanings, like the word that an animal or a sports equipment. There are some homophones in English that can be especially tricky because they are used so often. These include pairs like their, their, and their, or your, and your. Remember, context is key to understanding and using these words correctly. Now, let's put your knowledge to the test. Here are some review activities to reinforce your understanding. 1. Homophone crossword puzzles. Write down the meanings and you need to find out the homophones. This way, you can exercise your brain to recall the homophones based on their definitions. 2. Homophone flashcards. On one side, write a sentence with a blank where the homophone goes. On the other side, Write the correct homophone. Mix them up and practice filling in the blanks. 3. Story creation. Write a short story using as many homophones as possible. This can be a fun and creative way to remember different homophones. 4. Homophone quiz. Create a quiz where you have to choose the correct homophone to complete the sentence. This will test your understanding in a practical context. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you use these words in context, the easier it will become to distinguish them. Well, that wraps up our video for today. We hope you found these review activities useful in reinforcing your understanding of homophones and homonyms. Don't forget, it's all about practice. Use these activities regularly and you'll be a homophone and homonym pro in no time. Thanks for watching and happy learning.